Hey friends. Okay, you are not going to believe this, guys. Today, I broke my pelvis. So, um, I'm in the hospital now. It's in the middle of the night. Um, forgive if I'm um, having a hard time putting my thoughts together here because I am on some hardcore um, painkillers. <laughs> Um, and I have no notes, so, um, and also forgive my, uh, face sitch. Obviously, this has been a very, um, a lot of tears today, a lot of pain. Um, so I'm sure my, I can even see on the phone, my makeup is disgusting. It's all red all over, but, um, I know you'll give me the governor's reprieve. Um, and as I've shared in previous videos, one of the biggest, um, one of many challenges of being a professional dancer is you are reliant 100% on your body. Um, your mind too, but especially the way I teach you guys, you know, I love getting in there and just manhandling my students and really physically manipulating them through breaking a good sweat. I just, it feels joyful to me. So, um, like any ballroom dancer who has an uh, injury, it's not only the physical pain, you know, like I don't care how long I've been dancing. I cannot get enough of it. It is so much joy for me. And then, um, obviously I'm going to be, um, out of the race here for a little bit. Um, I am going to meet with the orthopedic surgeon tomorrow, um, to kind of figure out what the grandmaster evil plan is. Um, I'm not going to post this immediately because I have not told my students and I'm afraid to, you know, as a teacher, you just, I just, I know it's silly, but I'm just so afraid they'll quit and dump me for another teacher. And I just so love teaching them, you know, so, um, I got to think about how I'm going to phrase that even worse friends. I have uh, five or six couples competing this weekend. Um, and so not only can I not go to the comp, which is not the end of the world, they can send videos, but I had to cancel all their lessons. I did text, um, put the bat signal out. I was like, hey, I'm in the hospital and took a bad fall. Hey, I'll tell you that story in a sec. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm going to need to cancel my lessons the next few days. At that time, I did not know. I mean, I knew it was, the pain was off the chain, but I didn't know what was wrong. Um, and you know how it is when you go to the emergency room, you know, they got to send you to the ER, they got to send you to the x-ray, they got to send you to the CAT scan, they got to get a written note from your mother, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to teach them either. And I just, my heart goes out to them because I know how much before the comp, not that you're going to change your dancing, but it's almost like, okay, you're okay. You're okay. You know, a little reassurance and last minute tips before the comp. I'm, I'm sure they're all going to do great, but I just feel bad for them. Um, okay guys. So, uh, when I came, they sent me to the x-ray first and, um, they, they had a very difficult time getting pictures because, I mean, I can't even tell you guys, the pain is like having a baby. When they when I move like a micron, it's horrid. I mean, I'm literally like screaming out loud uncontrollably like a baby girl. Like, I'm, I'm a tough cookie, <laughs> but it was bad. Um, and uh, so they couldn't see anything in the, in the x-ray. And we were kind of hoping, you know, my husband and I, okay, well, maybe it's just a sprain, you know, or pulled something. But yeah, um, the pain was, has been incredibly bad. And so they took me to get what's called a CAT scan. Um, and um, then the, the doctor, you know, came in and showed me that the break in my bone. I can't remember the exact names of all the stuff. I'm no doctor, but um, essentially you have like a, a hip socket and then a leg bone that kind of pops into that socket. Well, my socket is what's broken. And um, so, okay, good news, bad news. Um, you know, I'm not gonna be permanently, you know, disabled, but um, he said, I'm probably gonna be out of commission here four to five weeks. I do not even know how to tell my students, nor do I look forward to this, like, you know me, I'm not one to sit in bed and eat bonbons and watch TV. I've never played a video game. I've never played on TikTok. 
that's just not my jam. I got to be out dancing <laughs> if I'm going to live my life. Um, okay, so here's the crazy story, guys. And it is 100% my fault. I am a buffoon. So um, we have a holiday here. If you're watching from outside of the United States, it's called Halloween. Excuse my angle here, guys. I'm, I can't move and I'm in the hospital bed and I'm trying to hold my camera here in a way that the shadow, you can see my, you know, what I'm saying. Anyway, um, so I'm putting up Halloween decorations and I'm going to, you guys know me, I go all out, go big or go home. So, you know, like ghosts and all the windows, special effects, lighting, um, it, it's crazy. I love it. And, uh, so I, we have a, an extremely vaulted, meaning high, high, high ceiling in our entryway, like crazy high, the highest I've ever seen. And so Crazy Sunny um, decides to go up there on a ladder to hang some bats. Okay, you can already see where uh, this car crash is going. And uh, yeah, it went out from under me and I took a very, very big fall, hard. Thank heavens that it went backwards and I went forward or I could have cracked my head open, you know, and my head's fine, you know, um, and ultimately your mind is what matters, especially when you're teaching, right? Um, you know, and I had broken things before and taught where I just, I can't dance, but fortunately most of my students are very experienced so I can teach them and they are educated enough to understand when I say heel, toe, diagonal, CBM, whatever, they know what I am asking them to do or lowering in the leg, whatever. Um, obviously, we'll not be teaching any beginners for a quite a while. Anyway, so thank heavens my husband happened to be home. He plays tennis like every single day ever, and he took the day off because he was a little under the weather. Hallelujah. So Obviously, he hears the big crash um, and comes out, and um, I thought I broke something. He's like, okay, I'll carry you to the car. But the second he lifted my legs, I I can't even explain, explain the pain to you guys. I mean, horrid. I, bad. It was bad. So um, he called the ambulance, and the fire department did a wonderful job. They came and gave me some... I think they said fentanyl. I think that's like a street illegal drug, but I don't know. It honestly didn't really touch my pain at all. I mean, it's bad. Um, and then finally the ambulance came. And fortunately, guys, we live super close to the hospital. I love the location of our home. Um, so the firemen like were able to carry me down. Um, we have a lot of stairs and a steep driveway to get me out to the ambulance. Unfortunately, the neighbor saw, so I'm just praying for minimum gossip. I'm a very private person, but it was all out there for the world to see with the hubaloo. Um, so um, they took me to the hospital, and um, I am at a wonderful place. They are doing a great job taking care of me. Um, kind of narrowing down the pain medications has been an ordeal. But you know what? I think I've, I finally something, found a combo here that's tolerable. Um, and they finally moved me out of, I, I don't know where I was, the emergency room, imaging. I, anyway, they've moved me to a nice room where it's quiet and I have a TV. Um, so um, this is nice. So anyway, um, if you have had an injury as a ballroom dancer, and I'm sure you have, um, I'd love to hear your story because every time I post some crazy thing on here that I'm like, oh, put on your seatbelt. This is nuts. I get 10 of you send me messages or comments that say, oh, hold my beer. This is what happened to me or this is what I saw. And it just, it's just always tickles my funny bone. Okay. So anyway, guys, um, uh, again, forgive, forgive this, uh, business here today. Um, but I'm sure you'll show grace. Um, and I look forward to seeing your first thing tomorrow morning. Now, realistically, guys, I'm not going to be able to do Dancing with the Stars um, recap tonight like I promised I would um, because I'm in the hospital TV and, you know, I take meticulous notes and I rewind and I really reflect and I just, I, the show's probably already over by now by the time I'm able to get my own room and stuff. So, um, 
maybe next week, maybe not, but you know, don't worry guys. I actually have a lot of um, people that have asked questions. So I've got some pre-recorded videos I can put in the kitty. Um, again, I doubt I'm gonna send this tomorrow because I, I do obviously owe it to my students um, to tell them first, um, but I will be back soon with an update on uh, what's going on. Um, and, you know, and this is one of the blessings of being um, a ballroom dancer as well, though. You know what? We are very healthy compared to most people. And in my experience, your body has an, a miraculous ability to heal itself if you just rest it, especially if you're fit. Um, so I do have high hopes. Um, and I look forward to seeing you um, first thing in the morning, guys. Happy dancing. Have a fun dancing day for me and tell me about it so I can live uh, vicariously through you. Okay, bye. Oops, wrong side. <laughs>